Hello, hello everyone and welcome, welcome back. So today I am doing an updated island tour for you just because I have done a lot of builds on this island and I haven't shown you all the way round yet and we are coming up to like a six weeks summer holiday that we get in the UK so I'm going to be bulk recording quite a few videos so that I can kind of enjoy the six weeks and have like a few weeks off like here and there so I thought it would be quite nice to kind of just take you on a little tour of my seaside town and show you what it looks like now that I've done the builds and kind of the process so let's just get started and let's go so I'm gonna take my boba green tea with me because of course and we're gonna start at the airport I have an orange airport and this is the entrance to my seaside town the island is called sea cross and i kind of came up with the name because obviously it's a seaside town and you kind of island hop between different places so you cross islands so that's kind of why <laughs> silly name i know but you know i was kind of inspired by lots of places where i live so i live in wales in the uk and we have lots of seaside towns by us and all of the seaside towns have different multicolored buildings i'm gonna go on like a little storytelling mode warning when you're little in the uk you get told that all these different multicolored buildings are that color because when the um men at sea come back home they get very very drunk you know we're in the uk and because they are so drunk they don't know which house is theirs so they then paint their houses a certain color so when they come back from sea and they get this drunk they then know which house is theirs depending on which color so <laughs> that's the story we get told when we're little <laughs> you know it's inbred in us in our dna so that is why all my buildings are multicolored they're not the same color so this is the entrance as you come up to resident services i was thinking that all they're all different shop different restaurants um we've got kk slider playing today but i don't know what my dream address will be at the moment so i'm not sure um and then you come to the right and you've got another little little plaza area maybe more shops more restaurants and you can come up the stairs to the left and you have my house on the peninsula it's got a lovely little seating area where you can look out to the sea i love this area it's beautiful and you've got some more buildings they are literally every single multicolor you can think of i love it and then you've got kind of like a communal garden area here which is right next to the beach and i was thinking this um building to the right would be a castle or some place you would go in where it's like a national trust building where you have to pay to go in that's why it's all one color it's like a very old building but they've done it up but they take over very old grand buildings and they restore them and look after them they even take over um, communal gardens communal beaches members of the public will pay to go in them and then those profits will go towards the maintenance of the buildings and grounds and things and all the beaches are decorated but very minimally so i was thinking that people would just enjoy the beach you know like a regular beach day I I have a couple of these i saw them on farm core islands but i was thinking that they could be communal changing areas because they kind of look like them so i've kind of repurposed them <laughs> And then this would be like a feet washing station. Um, so that's that area. And then you come back to resident services and go forward a bit and to the left. And then you've got this area, which is the surfboard shop. It is a standalone building and this little section here is where you would take a photograph so you stand in front of the surfboard 
and I took inspiration from like Hawaii and those places you know where they've got those signs that say like um I don't know Hawaii is like 500 meters that way or America is like a thousand kilometers the other way kind of things like that so I thought that was quite cute and then we've got um another decorated beach here which is very simple and then you go back this way you can go up this little cul-de-sac I'm gonna say back here you can't see it unless you open up your inventory and it is literally like a tiny tiny section where they keep their like I don't know um stuff that they use out the back for their shop basically I don't know I kind of kept it very very secret and there is a walkway through the flag and up this way but I won't take you there just yet we'll go back that way so if you go from the left of resident services I have Gonzo walking around at the moment we have a little spot on the fountain and you can take a picture here and this is a massive building like massive building and it is a house and a froggy chair shop so you can come up here and we have the froggy chair shop which is amazing i absolutely love it took me hours to build it <laughs> but i will show you what that is connected to in a minute we have lots and lots of buildings it is very very built up so we will go down towards um you where you're sitting i guess um lots of buildings here lots of multicolored buildings and another decorated beach very very simple very cute i like it a lot and we have the first neighborhood of the island so this is where drift lives at the moment this is where apple lives but it will be shep he is a hoarder so he has stuff that's been hoarded at the back is a very built up area so there's lots of multicolored buildings and this is rocket but but it will be sherb and um he has just a very simple garden because he likes to sleep so that's what I thought you can come up this ladder and there's like a little mini area where you can come sit and relax and have some cake because I thought why not and it's very built up back there you can come over the bridge and this is the downtown area of the island so we've got another decorated bridge and we have a football area we have a dock section this is where Cap'n is and you can come get some snack very simple again I just I thought it'd be really easy just to keep it very simple the beaches you can cook barbecues relax that kind of thing and if I can get back to where I started here we go these are very simple buildings but they're very built up so this first one is a house and I thought they would park their car next to it this one is just a very cute little building this is kind of like a cafe restaurant where you would get your coffee and your cake this is kind of like a derelict building i thought and they would kind of stuff in front of it just to keep people out of it and then you've got some more apartments at the top and then you come through the pergolia <laughs> there's blue bear and you've got another downtown section here it is tiny this bit and i will show you why um but yeah there's another more run down derelict building here and you can come to the right you've got another building standalone building here and then you've got the other neighborhood and you have dobby's house he likes to collect things <laughs> and he will share his yard with muffy but it's blue bear at the moment they share this like little courtyardy section there is another standalone building here and you have pudge which they have their own little cute little section here and then it connects back to resident services so we can go straight on up back to the froggy chair shop and you go all the way around you've got the last 
neighborhood, which is Teddy's house. Again, it's very built up back here. It has a pedestrian walkway, so it's not on the city pathing. And I wanted these two houses to be kind of still under construction. So this is Gonzo's house and he is connected to Teddy's house and they are still under construction. And this is Hornsby's house and we just got him in a villager hunt. So you can go watch that if you are interested. And this is Bitty's house, but they will be changing their house with Biff. And then Hornsby and Biff share this little section here. We've got like a cute little garden section, seating and pergolia backs on to this little building here. And then you've got that downtown building. We are kind of back where we started. So you can either go up this little, tiny little walkway here, or I'm gonna take you up this main track here because they kind of join each other so that's what I'm going to do so well because this one kind of ends and then kind of starts again I'll show you what I mean so these little bum pouts of the island I've literally just decorated as like garden um topiary type things that nothing special really so you'll kind of see those as we go along now up here you've got the food truck area it's very small um but it's very cute i really like it the food trucks stick out of the road because they kind of overspilled because they got very popular <laughs> so that's that and then some seating here this is where it ends because another build is going here and then you've got the campsite and it has more buildings and you've got another beach area here this is a bit more populated um but again still very simple so the road from the campsite it comes all the way up and comes to like a lorry park where all the lorries just park overnight and then you can come to the right and you have nook's cranny here and you've got a gas station which i absolutely love i love the custom designs I love how it looks and <laughs> Pudge is trying to catch a butterfly which is really cute and then you've got this empty space which is covered in weeds which is ridiculous able sisters will go there i think i might move it slightly but yes it will go there you've got red's secret beach just here and then you come to the bike shop which is cute and uh, it kind of will the roads don't line up because they're not meant to so don't worry about that just just don't panic so you've got the bike shop which is here it has a little cute seating area but i have noticed this is a car park where you park your car i've noticed that it doesn't line up like you can't drive into the car park so i think i'm gonna need to move this somehow so yeah uh i'll have to figure that out then you come on to the museum which i absolutely love it's like a castle museum again i'm thinking national trust have taken over over the castle you pay to go into the museum and see everything you've got a little area here we can go in and it's got you've got like a little cafe area just here um where you can eat outside play the piano things like that and then you come on to the fossil shop where you can buy fossils that aren't real they look like the ones in the museum you've got another little beachy area and it, again very simple it join oh no <laughs> i was gonna say it joins the other beach it doesn't there is a river in the way let's go back so when you've got the museum you can come forward and you've got a little walkway kind of a little walkway takes you to the beach as well but it also takes you to another changing rooms with a toilet and a hand washing basin and a feet washing basin and you can come all the way back all the way up we have the dock area which is here sorry i'm walking on the water but i just wanted to show you quickly what it looks like you can come forward to the dock and it brings you straight 
down to resident services again or you can go to the right and this is the fish shop which is so cute i love it you've got fish either side so you can purchase fish each side you've got little uh, garden spaces either side you can sit have coffee that type of thing and a little pergolia this side and that's the back of the froggy shop and then you've got the flower shop next I did this one off camera, but it looks super cute. It's only one level, but it makes it look extra cute. And then you've got another section here, which is quite long, but you can kind of sit and relax. And somebody's been naughty and brought their scooter up here. Next, you've got the pub. So this section is where they have just stored some extra stuff and then this is the pub entrance here you can't go in it obviously but then forward is where you sit and eat and drink everything from the pub and then this is like the cozy section of the pub i really like this and then if you keep going on to the right you can see you can see the campsite because this section is empty but hopefully you won't be able to once it's finished you've got all of the buildings there and then you can come forward along here you've got the food truck entrance along here come forward and then it's like a tight little entrance which i really like and we are back to the crossing where you've got the building the main walkway and the villagers and you can come all the way to your resident services which i love everything connects everything makes sense and i love it and Drift is still listening to KK. <laughs> that is the map quickly as well, if you wanted to look at it. It obviously doesn't make any sense because it is all dirt with squares, but the squares are buildings as well. So maybe it makes sense to you, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense to me. I have to go around the island to look at it, but that's the map. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the progress of the islands. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any new videos. As always, you can click on the right to see more Animal Crossing videos. I will leave the Sea Cross playlist there for you. I will leave the build videos and the villager hunts there for you. Have a fantastic rest of the day wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!